Yes. I mean, with the siesta in the afternoon, contributes to the later nights. Here we go. A couple of playable ones. Blind versus blind. Ace queen off suit for Kiatli, who has chosen to limp here at the 5K, 10K level. Yeah, but Adams prob probably checks this back with his stack. Oh, no, it's 10K blinds now. Ooh, now he might, he might jam. Late Ridge officially yes. closed. Goes with the check, which which makes sense. I think you just want to ensure you get to see the flop with these suited hands here in the big blind with short stacks. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Aces and jacks with a queen kicker on this paired flop for Kiat Lee, who does not have a diamond in his hand. And for Tim Adams, trip jacks. The question here is, will, you know, will Adams double up? Or will Kiat Lee find a way not to double Adams up? Because it'll be tough. But Adams is in position, so he's going to make sure every streak gets bet or he can raise or whatever. So he's going to obviously try to find a way to get it all in. I mean, on most runouts that aren't absurd. So, such as like a diamond diamond run out or, you know, ace king or something like that. But The arrival of the king does give Kiat Lee a gut shot Broadway draw. Of course, we know if he gets there, Tim Adams will be full. So it is of no help and Lee checks as the queen kicker no longer plays. Yeah, which, you know, on the one hand, okay, the queen kicker doesn't play. The other hand is a lot of ace X hands Adams could have. He he gets in pre-flop for basically 20 blinds. So, you know, it's a situation Kiat for the most part at this point is probably thinking, okay, you know, especially if it goes bet turn, bet river. My opponent kind of either is polarized to having three jacks or or um, a miss diamonds. Three of spades on the end. So Kiat's going to check because he's trying to get to showdown against someone who's showing a lot of strength. And Adams is kind of have kind of a polarizing range here a lot because he doesn't have ace as much of like three jacks, maybe queen 10, or miss diamond. So I think he'll go with a bigger sizing. So I, I expect something over half pot, anywhere from over half, like 70K to all in. Good. Yeah. The whole enchilada being delivered. Minus 1K. So and now Piat has a decision. He's the the queen is a pretty good card to have because he's blocking queen ten and he has no diamonds. So it's a tough spot for him. Tough spot. Is part of the dilemma that Kiat Lee is facing here, as we see him exercise a time bank, the product of choosing to limp the ace queen as opposed to raise it more naturally and be able to get a better sense, perhaps, of Tim Adams' hand? No, I, I, not really. You know, I, I mean, had he raised this hand and Adams calls, then, I mean, then this is definitely getting all in, pretty much, because the pot would have just been like 3x bigger preflop, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, this does make the hand deeper, which actually gives him a chance to potentially fold here. And that's not what he's going to do as he makes the call and Tim Adams will enjoy almost a full double. Yeah, I mean, it's a, that's a pretty tough fold. And like